today I'm going to be showing you the proper gun safety with a bolt action sight rifle. But first, I'm going to run through the different parts and pieces of this kit. So, first off, here at the top, you have the barrel, goes all the way down. And then you have the four stops. And then up in here, you have the action, which is where you're loading the ammo. Up top, you have the optic, which can be varied for many different things. Down here you have the trigger guard, which is this big ring that runs around the trigger. On the underside you have a little covering which can open up and to where you can insert a magazine for larger amounts of rounds. Now going back out we have the bolt which slides in and out to load the ammunition into the barrel. Then we have the bolt lever which when locked in is when slid in and locked down, which will enable you to fire. Pop it back out and bring it back as we load back in. Here we have the grip. And down here we have the butt stop. Alright, so now that I've run through everything, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you the proper gun safety and gun handling of the rifle. So first off, you have to remember to always keep the rifle pointed at a safe direction or down range. If you're at a range, and that means always pointing down towards the target, but if you're hunting, the biggest thing is to not point it towards anybody you're hunting with. And if you're walking around, always keep it pointed up instead of down or facing someone else. Next up, we have um, that you should always have a firearm unloaded. Now, when you're walking around hunting, unloaded can be meaning many many different things. You can have it fully unloaded or you can have one or two rounds loaded in the bottom which can be loaded through and you can stack up rounds and then when you're ready if you push the bolt lever or slide the bolt forward it'll load one of the rounds in so technically it's not fully loaded but it's ready when you need it to be. Next we have that you should never rely on your actual gun safety. You should always be careful and be cautious of using any firearm, whether it be a rifle, a shotgun, or a pistol. You have to be cautious and most of the time just use your common sense. Next up, we have to know what's beyond us. So this is especially if you're at a range. That's why the biggest thing with ranges is there is a ceasefire, and that's when you can go check your targets so without that, you can shoot and accidentally hit someone. Biggest thing with another big thing with people being behind the target or behind or shooting at you. Uh, many accidents have happened where hunters are shooting at game, and a civilian or another hunter will be behind the game, and there's an incidence of injuries from cases such as that. Next off, we will have to make sure we use the correct ammunition. Now here I have two different rounds. This is the correct 270 round, which goes with the 270 sniper. And this is a 30 odd six round, which goes into a completely different gun and you can't even load it into this gun. But loading the wrong ammunition can cause a misfire, which can lead to injury. The next thing is never have your hand finger on the trigger until you're completely sure that you're going to pull the trigger. That's what the trigger guard is for. If you're sitting there waiting, you can have your finger on the trigger guard until you're ready to pull the trigger, in which you slightly move your finger back and then lightly squeeze the trigger so you don't turn it back. This will lead to greater gun safety. Next off is to always wear eye hanger protection, no matter what you're doing. If you're hunting or if you're at the range, eye hanger protection is a must-have Injuries can come so easily without either of those. <clears throat> Next is to make sure that there's nothing in front of you or around you that can uh, obstruct you while you're shooting. So if you are hunting and you're standing in a bush and there's a branch in front of you, if you shoot that, that can ricochet around or it can destroy the branch which can come back as a trap towards you, which can injure you and anyone you're with. Also, if you're at a range, if you're firing at a target, if there is a wood barrier above you and you hit the wood barrier that can either bury the bullet in the barrier or it can cause like I said shrapnel to come back at you. 
And finally, you have to be sure that if the gun misfires, you always have to treat it with extreme care. What misfire means is if I were to load around in, slide the bolt, slide the bolt lever down, pull the trigger and fire, but nothing were to come out. You hear click like this. You hear click like this. And nothing fires. You have to treat it with extreme care. Always have the safety on. Slide your action up. Pulling back. Pushing the safety back. And if you can see the round is lodged in there, stop using the gun. Alright, that concludes the proper gun safety and the parts of guns. Thanks for watching, guys.